Ronaldo, Romario, Clivet, Deco, Rivaldo, Dino, Messi, Neymar, Henri, Etzo, David Villa. I'm trying to remember who in there. Since I've been watching football, this is the worst sports one I've ever seen. It's the worst. So, when you try to address what is happening with the Barcelona, you have to use a lot of context here. Because, look, we get it. Javi is not the most experienced manager. We get it. He's, the, he's supposed to be the guy before the guy. There's only so much you can uh, um, expect from Javi. And you have to separate the iconic, world-class, all-time play, um, player from the manager. Management and playing are not the same thing. So, you say what's up with Barcelona? Because you look at two areas. Because I believe that the midfield is still fine. <clears throat> because, again, like that ball from Frank de Jong was amazing. And let's keep it a stack. Frank de Jong and Pedri were putting in clinical passes that our good friend Rafinha was meant to go. We'll get to Rafinha soon. The issue here is this. The defense is not as good as it was last season. But the defense was astronomically amazing last season. I believe Barca have already equaled the amount of goals conceded in the league already right now than the whole of last season, I believe. But my goodness in heaven, the attack is trash. I'm a huge Jao Felix fan. I'm a huge fan. But the he literally doesn't give enough consistency and a good enough quality to be able to re-ride and say what's up on a consistent basis on that flank. Lewandowski, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, we've already said what we do from Lewandowski. And when you look at this game, you could see he was eager to get those first-time passes. Because every single time he was playing on the last man, playing off of the shoulder and was saying, yo, long ball, yo, long ball, yo, long ball. But Lewandowski, if you not play the long ball to you, do you have the acceleration and the speed to get onto that ball for a guy on the wrong side of 30? Skip it a stack. And Barcelona, they're not a long ball team. They're a short pass, quick pass team. And the Lewandowski that we saw at Dortmund or at Bayern Munich, who could drop in deep and really play with players, short ball and everything, he doesn't have that to his game. He doesn't have that to his game. So I just think that Lewandowski in 2024 simply doesn't work for this Barca team. But you can insult Javi. You can abuse Javi. And, but you have to understand what Javi is. He's not experienced. An experienced manager will be able to get more out of this team. An experienced manager, knowing his experience and digging into his past experience, will be able to enhance these players and be able to grind out results and be a lot more imaginative and creative in the way they strategically approach a game. And that's only comes from experience that Javi simply doesn't have. So whether it's a Valverde or any of these dudes, I know that's okay. I have been managing at a high level for these years. So I know this situation I know worked before and we can work here. Javi doesn't have that. Javi's top tier experience is this. So anyway, he's landing on the job for a top tier manager, unlike other guys who already have that past experience. But we have to keep it a stack bondo. And so Javi only wants. Ronaldinho his family knows Rafinha. They know them. So they actually know each other quite well. Ronaldinho has to cut all ties from Rafinha. He has to. Because as a Brazilian, you are telling me there's a 1v1 and you can neither dig the ball over the keeper or go around him and slot it into an empty net. Rafinha is horrible. And it is offensive that this guy masters a Brazilian. I really cannot decide who is more useless or more of an embarrassment to the famous yellow jersey, whether it's Anthony or Rafinha. I'm, bro, I'm, call, I'm, I'm, I'm calling him Raf. Raf. <laughs> Raf is this, 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 this. I have no idea. I have no idea what, what this guy's about because this dude is, you're, like, he's genuinely bad. So when you have a guy that's this generally bad, how much can you blame Javi? But I know what you guys are going to say before you comment. Who 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 bought it? Who brought him in? Who vouched for it? So it does goes go both ways because as a manager, if a player that you vouched for fails, it's on you. Now, 
if a player who is already there and you come in and that player is already there, there's only so much you can do. But if you bought that player, which means that you vouch for that player and that player flops, what do we say? I mean, bro, this Barcelona team, bro, I mean, you know, I'll put out my UCL kind of like knockouts preview because I don't know how these guys go be in the round of 16. I think the league is gone and I think we generally could have it's had rate between Girona and Real Madrid. <laughs> that could not, it could not be a social hills race between Girona and Real Madrid, especially with the Athletic score. But it is just so shocking that Barca have fallen like like this one because bro, this team's bad. No, no, sorry, no, no, sorry, no, that's wrong. No, this no. This attack is trash. The defense eh, is a bit tricky, but the defense okay, it's fine. It's not it's not the best. But it's, it's, it's there, but the attack because there were. So many up yes, defense they consider the goal, it is what it is. But the attack had way, way too many crazy opportunities. At a point, Pedri was like, Bro, what do you want me to freaking do? Look at that pass I gave to Pedro was like, Bro, what, what do you want me to freaking do, bro? Like, we are doing our job in putting it on the plate for you guys. You guys have to execute. I don't know what to say, bro, but all I can say is that that attacking unit is horrendous for Javi. You did vouch for it, and those are players that you bought. So, how much blame can we give to, to Javi if those are the players that you bought, but those players are underperforming? Madness, man. Like that video, guys. Subscribe. Head over there to the official website and join us later tonight for the Saturday Hangers, where we shall discuss this topic and more.